Grace, what's the time? It's time for Maths with Mr. Thomas. It is indeed. Here we go with National 5 Maths. This is Unit 1, Chapter 1, and we are looking at significant figures. What's that? Good question. So let's start off with what actually is meant by significant figures. First of all, figures. We know a figure is just a number, it's a digit, but significant. What does significant mean? If we said Ryan's opinion on this is significant, it means it's important. Good. So significant just means important. In terms of digits, in terms of numbers, well, the closer a digit is to the beginning of a number, the more significant it is. For example, if I told you that I won £3,147,592 in the National Lottery, well, the digit that you are most interested in is what? Is it the 3 for the 3 million? Is it the 7 for the 7,000? Or is it the 92 on the end? What would it be? It's a three. You're more interested in the three because it shows the millions. That is what you want. You want to know that I won about three million. So really, the closer a digit is to the start of a number, the more significant it is. After that, well, you would have the second significant figure, which would be the one. Then you'd have the third significant figure, then the fourth, and so on. And really, it would go down in terms of significance. Another example, if I told you the weight of a grain of rice is about 0.021 grams, well here, what is the most significant figure? It's not the zero, actually, no, because then that would just be zero. It's absolutely nothing, and that would show you nothing. The most important digit is actually the two. It's the first non-zero digit, because this shows you that there are two hundredths. And that is what you are interested in. Beside it with the one, that's the next significant number. So, how to work out how many significant figures are in a number? What do we do? Well, what we can do is we have to decide where to start first of all. So, starting at the left-hand side of a number, the first digit that you come to that is not a zero is the first significant number. Beside that, you've got the second, beside that, you've got the third, beside that, you've got the fourth, and so on, working your way down. So that is where you start. Always start at the first non-zero digit. Where do you stop, though? What is the last significant figure? Well, this all depends on where your number ends. So if the number ends before the decimal point, what you do is you count up to the last number that is not a zero. For example with these two numbers. We can see that the first digit that is not a zero here is a three, so that's the first significant figure. The number ends before the decimal point. There is no decimal in here, so what we do is we count up to the last number that's not a zero, and the last number that is not a zero is the seven. So, this would be our first significant figure, this would be our second significant figure, and this would be our third significant figure. So we can say there are three significant figures here. With the 45,007, well, again, where do we start? Well, we start at the first number that's not a zero. So the four here is the first significant figure. Beside that, we've got the second significant figure. Beside that, we've got the third and so on. Thinking about where it ends, well, where do we end? Well, because it ends before the decimal point, again, no decimals, we want to count up to the last number that is not a zero. And the last number that is not a zero here is the seven. So this is the first significant figure. This is the second. This is the third. This is the fourth. And this is the fifth significant figure. So that there would have five significant figures. What do we do if it ends after? Good question. If your number ends after the decimal point, what you do is you count up to the very last digit, even if it is a zero. Bum, bum, bum. So, for example, here with 27.0901, the first significant figure, the first digit that is not a zero is the two. Then the, the, blah, 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 the number ends after the decimal point, so we count up to the very last digit. The very last number here is a one, so that is our last significant figure. So this is our first significant figure, this is our second, this is our third, this is the fourth, this is the fifth, and this is the sixth. So you would say that has six significant figures. 
With this number 0 0.040, the first number that is not a zero is the four. Woo! And the number ends after the decimal point. So we count up to the very last digit, even if it's a zero. And you can see here the very last digit is a zero. That would be the last significant figure. So the first significant figure was the four. This would be the first. And then beside it, we would have the second, which means then that this number has two significant figures. Bum, bum, bum. Let's try some more examples. So, example one, how many significant figures are in the following? Let's go. So, with 1,234, start at the first number that is not a zero, which is the one. The number ends before the decimal, so we count up to the last number that is not a zero. So we can see there are one, two, three, four significant figures. With the next one, feel free to pause this as you go through it. Start at the first number that is not a zero. It ends after the decimal point, so go up to the very last digit. There are two numbers there, so there are two significant figures. With the next one, start at the first number that's not a zero. It ends before the decimal, so count up to the last number that is not a zero, which is the nine. There are one, two significant figures. With the next one, D. First number that's not a zero is the nine. It ends before the decimal point, so we count up to the last number that is not a zero. So there's the first significant figure, there's the last. I've got the two numbers between, which means we have one, two, three, four significant figures. With the next one, first number that is not a zero is the four. It ends after the decimal point, so where do we go? up to the last digit, good, even if it's a zero. So there's the first, there's the last, which means we would have one, two, three significant figures. With F, we have the first digit that is not a zero is the two. It ends after the decimal point, so we go up to the very last digit. So we have one, two, three, four, five significant figures. With G, the first number that is not a zero is the one. It ends after the decimal point, and it ends at the two, which means we would have one and then two significant figures. With H, first digit that is not a zero is the three. It ends before the decimal point. There is no decimal there, so we go up to the last number that is not a zero, which also happens to be that three. So that is the first significant figure, and it's the last significant figure, meaning there is only one significant figure there. With I, Alex, where do we start? Nine. Good, we start at the nine. Where do we end, Tony? Zero. Good, we end at the zero. We start at the first digit, it's not a zero because it ends after month after we go to the very last digit. So that's the first, that's the second significant figure, meaning there are two significant figures. With J, that is the start because it's the first d digit that is not a zero. It ends after the decimal point, so we're up to the very last number, meaning we would have four significant figures that's the first, that's the second, that's the third, that's the fourth. Let's move on to a load more with K. First digit that is not a zero is the three. It ends after the decimal point, so we go up to the very last digit, which means then we would have the first and the second, so there are two significant figures. With L, the first digit that is not a zero is the one. It ends before the decimal point. There is no decimal there, so we go up to the last digit that is not a zero. So that's the first, that's the second, that's the third, that's the fourth, that's the fifth, and that's the sixth significant figure. So there are six significant figures in L. With M, first digit that is not a zero is the two. It ends before the decimal, so we go up to the last digit that is not a zero, which is the four. So there are two significant figures. With N, with 1,000, what do you think for that? Brilliant, you got it, because that is the first uh, digit that is not a zero, so that's the first significant figure. It ends before the decimal, so you count up to the last number that is not a zero. So the one is the first and the last significant figure, so there's only one there. With O, start at the first number that is not a zero, which is the nine, because it ends after the decimal, you go up to the very last number. So there would be one, two, three, four, five, six significant figures. With P, first digit that is not a zero is the four. You can see that is also the last significant figure, so that would just be one. With Q, the first digit that is not a zero is the three. It ends after the decimal, so we go up to the very last number. So we would have one, two, three, four, five significant figures.
with R, the first digit that is not a zero is the one. It ends before the decimal, so we go up to the last number that is not a zero, which is the six, and that would be one, two, three significant figures. With S, first digit that is not a zero is the one. It ends after the decimal, so we go up to the very last digit, and we can see that is the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth significant figure. So there's five significant figures there. And for T, what do you think? Good. First digit that is not a zero is the one it ends after the decimal, so you go up to the very last digit. So that's the first, that's the second, that's the third, that's the fourth, and that's where you stop. That is the fifth and last significant figure, so that would also have five significant figures. Woo! Try some of these questions in the TJ4 Plus book. There are some of these on page six. It's questions one and two. Check your answers as you go. Any problems, let me know. Give me a shout. Woo! See ya. Bye.